This is a Rogers 340 Century Theater Organ. I've been working for the last year and a half to restore it. Um, it is an analog transistor organ. Um, I am almost done. It's, I've spent the day today with a friend of mine who is a theater organist and he was checking it out while we regulated things and I thought I'd just give you a quick tour. So here is the organ console. It's a three manual. It has second touch on the lower manual known as the accompaniment manual. It has a full uh, 32 note pedal board and swell shoes for the main and solo channels. Uh, because it is an electronic organ, the solo channel is, is classified as the tibia channel, but you can see that on my speaker I have a reminder that it's really still the solo channel. So I do have a bunch of speakers around the house. Underneath the grand piano there's a big bass speaker, and then to the right underneath all the sheet music that is the main channel, and there are a number of instruments that sound through that channel. And then over here, this is the uh, solo channel. Rogers calls it the tibia channel. And then way up high, I have my reverb channels uh, that play up toward the ceiling. And then over here, I have my brass channel. And since I'm still getting things tweaked, you can say I, I even have some notes to keep track of what instruments sound in which channel. I thought I'd make this, this little video while I have the back open so that you can see the inside because it's quite a bit of work to get the back open. So uh, there are three circuit cards, approximately four feet by five feet, uh, located inside of the Rogers organ. Uh, I've actually labeled everything on my organ and I did that for a few reasons. One was so that I could find my way around, and two was so that I would know where everything is. So now I know uh, if I need to make an adjustment where to go. But let me just open this up and you'll see how this works. So I'm pulling out panel number one. Okay, so rack number one, and then you can see all the point-to-point -point wiring on the back of this rack. Now when I got this organ, the prior owners had made all kinds of modifications, uh, many of which appeared to interfere with the operation of the organ. So I've spent many months reversing a lot of those changes, and I still have a lot of notes to myself about what I connected or disconnected and what, where it went. So here are more of the keyers and mixers and different, uh, all the percussion instruments are over here on the panel. That's panel number two that sits inside of the organ. So I'll open that up as well, and let's move that over here. That reveals panel number three. Now this organ, someone had already tapped off from the piano keyer to go out to a MIDI encoder, which you will see. So they're actually not using the analog piano that is built in as part of this organ. Instead, they're taking the signals out from the piano keyer and you'll see them when I open the last panel. So let me open that up. So this is panel number three that we're sliding out. And now you can actually see inside the organ console. I've installed a work light just to make life a little bit easier. So there is a full uh, mechanical chimes with a piezoelectric pickup so that when I'm playing the chimes, you're actually playing real chimes. And then up here on deck, behind the keyboards, that's the old MIDI encoder. And then what I did is I ran that out and I took apart a MIDI keyboard uh, with a Yamaha uh, piano sound. And so I'm running it into there. And then that is what provides my digital piano in an otherwise analog organ. The other big change that I've made um, over here, I'm gonna try to turn the light around and see what you can see is I have installed an eight channel, excuse me, a six channel uh, 100 watt amplifier board. And 